guys, time's up. My peachy applesauce is all done. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. So I've already turned off and canceled my, my heat on my blender because it will keep it warm for a little bit. So I don't know if you can see that. How gorgeous is that color? And it's still nice and steamy hot. So I'm gonna pour it into my silicone freeze containers and I'm gonna let it cool. Now, one good thing about this is it's portioned to almost what will fit in those squeeze containers, the refillable um, pouches. Now, you could certainly add a little bit of lemon juice to this if you wanted to keep all that from browning, but I'm not even gonna worry about it. It's all gonna be yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So, oops, a little overflow on that one. You just want to definitely make sure that it cools. If you're going to put these in the freezer and keep them frozen, like for baby food, you want to make sure that it's cooled completely, or at least to room temp, before you put it in the freezer. Um, putting really, really super hot foods in the freezer is not a good idea. Number one, when you cover it, you will end up with a lot of bacteria growth from the, the sudden trap moisture. I know it seems really weird but it's got moisture in it but when you trap that um, steam in a container um, it can create a bacterial issue so um, besides it raises the temperature in your freezer and makes your freezer work harder so let it cool to room temp a little bit before you cap it and then put it in the fridge or in the freezer and you'll be good to go so I'm gonna let it cool and then I'm gonna refill my container fill up my containers and I'll show you that step next. All right, back in a flash.